on air, online, and on your smart speaker. Townsville's national award-winning builder, Kia Constructions. Hit News Briefing. Hi, it's Dan Flake here with your news briefing. The PM's met with reps from the Quad. Scott Morrison's been talking up the strong security and economic partnership between Australia, the US, Japan and India. He says the four nations have a unified vision. Each of us stands for a world order that favours freedom, and particularly here in a free and open Indo-Pacific. Officials will discuss a range of topics, including the virus and China. Speaking of which, the Labor leaders responded to claims by Peter Dutton that China China would prefer the ALP wins the upcoming election. Anthony Albanese says if this is the case, it's news to the security watchdog. The Director General of ASIO, Mr Burgess, today has reaffirmed that he has not raised concern about any of my candidates. To the COVID front, and there's been around 50 deaths connected to the virus today. One of those was in WA. Two others were in the Northern Territory. In some positive news, the Novavax jab is now available nationwide after it was approved ahead of schedule. Virologist Angela Luddick waited for the jab to become available and was the first in the country to receive it today. I'm not an anti-vax, but I am a pro-choice, and this was my choice. So I'm very, very excited to be the first recipient of the Novavax vaccine. While the Code Brown in place in Victoria will wrap up Monday, measures allowed staff to be redistributed across hospitals to help with demand caused by the pandemic. And former Liberal leader Andrew Peacock has been farewelled at a state memorial today. Introducing the Staria Load, Hyundai's new commercial van that fits in everything. And now it even comes loaded with a $1,000 bonus for Arabian holders. Test drive today. Aussie snowboarder Scotty James is already looking forward to 2026 after winning silver in the half-pipe final at the Beijing Winter Games. I've got the bronze. I got a silver and now I need to finish off my collection for the pool room in gold in Italy. So we've already started the process, but for now I'll enjoy this and uh, just be very happy. That audio thanks to Seven. While well, fellow Aussie Jacqueline Narricox topped her heat in the women's skeleton and will have a crack at winning a medal tomorrow. And it's been revealed that Emma Star Jared Collier had stem cell surgery on his knees and Jimmy's Kimmy's now on career going Cloudy and the slight chance of a shower for Townsville this afternoon, 32 the top. It's going to drop down to 25 tonight. Similar conditions tomorrow and 32. Our listener app is the home of radio, podcasts, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand now.